mug Biden bashes Trump over language, gets humiliated when his own skeletons come out. Despite the fact that President Donald Trump was right when he allegedly referred to certain places as shitholes, the left has been on the warpath ever since hearing the claims that he referred to such places as exactly what they are. In fact, former Vice President Joe Biden most recently jumped on the Ben wagon, but he just got humiliated big time as his own skeletons came prancing out. Liberals will use anything they can to discredit President Trump, even if it's the same desperate and pathetic tactics that wore out a long time ago. Perhaps the worst, though, is the fact that they're attacking the president over a word they themselves have likely used time and time again while in the company of friends and family. As we all know by now, Democrats have come forward claiming that President Donald Trump referred to Haiti and a few places in Africa as shith holes. Of course, he's since denied the accusations, along with a few Republicans who say that the left is flagrantly lying about it, but that hasn't stopped the mudslinging. For one, if Trump did say the words, he was right, and that fact has many people brushing off the selective outrage of the left. However, the fact that there is example after example of the left twisting, misrepresenting, or even flat out lying about the president, it makes it easy to disregard this allegation as false. Even though this is the case, every idiot who thinks they can benefit from attacking President Donald Trump continues to step into the limelight. Proving that most recently was former Vice President Joe Biden, who took to Twitter. It's not how a president should speak, he wrote at the time. It's not how a president should behave. Most of all, it's not what a president should believe. We're better than this. Too bad for him, his own words were about to turn around and bite him on the backside, the Daily Caller reports. For one, it doesn't look like anyone really wants to hear from Chester the molester anymore. However, his own dirty skeletons were about to come out of the closet and leave him downright humiliated as well. Courtesy of John Cardillo, it's been exposed that Joe Biden should have thought twice before condemning someone else's foul or inappropriate language. Listing out questionable, disgusting, and flat-out racist remarks that Joe Biden personally said in the past, well, it's safe to say that Cardillo put the former vice president in his place. Although the quotes are hard to believe, there's video evidence proving them to be true, unlike the accusations against President Trump. The first quote Cardillo brought to light was when Biden said that you cannot go to a 7-Eleven or a Dunkin' Donuts unless you have a slight Indian accent. I'm not joking, back in 2006. As the clip below indicates, it's sadly not a remark taken out of context. As if that wasn't bad enough, while the former vice president was talking about then soon to be President Barack Obama. He called him the first mainstream African American who is articulate and bright and clean and a nice looking guy, in 2007. Of course, we all know that's just simply not true as there were plenty of African Americans who fit those qualifications before Obama was ever known. Lastly, further exposing himself to be a downright racist, Joe Biden said that Romney was gonna put y'all back in chains, in 2012. At the end of the day, it's all right to criticize what other people have to say. In fact, that's why we have the First Amendment. Not only do we have the right to say what we want, but we have the right to argue against what other people say, it's what makes America so great. However, if you are going to do it, you better take a look in the mirror before you do and make sure that your own past is squeaky clean. There are few things in this world worse than a hypocrite, and if Joe Biden is anything, He's just that. Not only does this idiot have a long list of racial slurs under his own belt, but what he said may have actually been worse than what President Donald Trump is accused of saying. Most of America knows Joe Biden is a nitwit, but he's officially rendered himself an irrelevant nitwit with this comment about Trump. He can say goodbye to his 2020 dreams. He dreams.